Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Cat Ca Cat Cafe Manager. I'm just gonna keep that right in. I need. I don't know. I'm just. I'm all over the place today. You've traveled all the way from the city to Catterwall Way. It's a small countryside town hidden far away from the bustle of the city. You hardly even remember the town. Don't take it too hard. You were a baby. Huh. Dad never mentioned how pretty it was. Granny stayed when you left. It's only now that you know why. Turns out she was running a business. Ah, you've arrived. Wasn't there supposed to be a building here? There's a big man clumsily rummaging around the field. He's all chafed knuckles and smiling eyes. Ah, are you supposed to be here? My grand's letter asked me to come. Oh, your name's Little Tyke. I should have known. Sorry to, to scare you. I'm Bonner. I was a good friend of your grand's. Couldn't compete with the cats, though. Ha <laughs> ha! What's your name? Let me get a good look at you. All right, hairstyle. Oh, what do we got? Tied back? Oh, that's cute. Spiky. Curly. Afro. Half long. Nah, tied back. Hair color? Oh, sweet. Skin color. Oh, I can't be a purple people eater. Well, what is our name? I think it's got a Roboto. There we go. Don't worry about it. Ah, look at you. You've even got your grand's eyes. Nain was always talking about you. She said that even as a little babe, she liked how you were so... Gourmand. Oh, so we get different stats and stuff. So we were Gourmand, Gentle, or a Social Butterfly. Gentle. Your gentle demeanor can calm even the rowdiest of cats. So did Nain's letter say why she wanted you to come here? To rebuild her cat cafe. Ha! Knew it! First, let me help you set up. First things first, let's pick a good name. She says chats? No. This is, um... <laughs> the doghouse. The doghouse! Such a clever cat-based pun! Unless it's not a pun. Wouldn't know! I've been pun deaf since age four! You hear the telltale sounds of meowing cats. Three little fur balls poke their heads past the trees. Oh, it's some of the many stray cats which roam Caterwall. This is a perfect opportunity to adopt a cat, God of Roboto. Need cats for a cat cafe. After all, you only have room for just one cat right now. You can expand the cat cafe and take these two off the street later. So, chill, clean. So, clean cat, don't need a lot of food. I like this cat. Oh, and we have to give it a name. Floof with three O's. Okay. Oh, and we can rename it whenever we want. And it even has skills. So it's a vagabond. And an artist. Aha! They seem to trust you, Gato Roboto. You've got your grand's feline charms, you do. As you can see, the cafe is just a teeny bit destroyed by a storm. However, I've saved some of the furniture. You get a bunch of shabby looking furniture. You probably need some more chairs, though. You can buy some more stuff at Gross Decorations in town. Yeah, all right. I'll be sure to check in on you later. For now, good luck turning this field into a cozy little cat cafe. Okay, so customers have needs, things, cats, cool. I'm just going to close this and hope for the best. WASD to move around, tasks, inspect, tasks will appear around the cafe. They range from taking an order to petting a cat. Hold the button to perform them. And then there's also inspect mode to see what's going on. Okay, so water course sink, doghouse, decorate. Uh, let's see, design mode, cool. I think I can just pull this up whenever I want. Rad. Wait, can I have like an outdoor eatery? Probably not. Oh, invalid placement. What? Interesting. Can't really have anything indoor. Okay, should be placed on a floor. Well, let's just do the basic wood for the time being. And I don't have that much for materials. Whoops. What? What? Okay, that was confusing. 
There we go. That should be enough. And I should still have some resources. So we can paint that. All right, what else do we have? Cat food, decorate. So I'm gonna need a sink, a table, a pair of windows. I don't think I can put them on the sides. Okay, Q and, Q and E to rotate. Okay, cat served two, a rose bush, and a dusty rug. I'll just put it right there. All right, that'll do for now. I don't think I can do anything else. I could build some more if I wanted some more space. But I think that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. All right, there we go. How do you decorate? Can I move this? There. Perfect. Exit design mode. I think we're good. So what else do we have? To town, decorate, menu, cats, staff, advertising. Okay, customer needs. So we have vagabonds, artists, punks, witches, fisher folk, and business people. They pay in different resources. Okay. Your cooking skill will meet this need if customer does not receive their ordered food. Their cook your cooking skill is halved. Oh, that's interesting. Vagabonds. Well, we have vagabonds. All right. Take his order. Prepare. All right. This makes sense. Let's see. So, satisfied. Cats, cats total. Hunger, water, cooking skill. Cats are there. Cats are fine. I don't know. I don't know how else to do or what else to do. I see I have his hand out. I guess he was just reaching for that. Oh, or the cat. Any more cats. That's the real answer. We need just like an endless parade of cats to do this. Oh, it's so cute too. You know, I don't know. I think this would be kind of neat. Uh, the idea of just like, I, I don't think I'd ever personally be a va vagabond. Oh. There we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, hello. Oh dear, I've been so excited to meet you, Gato Roboto. I'm Carla Lala. Please call me Carla, or Lala, or both. I run the Pet Emporium in town. We carry many useful items for cat owners, such as cat food or litter boxes. Or we can find the time to pay us a visit. I love your hat. Oh dear, I'd recommend not commenting on a witch's hat, Gato Roboto. I can't speak for all garden witches, but it's embarrassing? Quite a few garden witches live here in Catterwall. Please, no hat-related talk when they visit the doghouse, all right? Good, good. Us witches tend to pay our pay in scrumptious nectar. Many merchants in the food market enjoy it so much they'll only expe uh, accept nectar as payment for their food, uh, for their food recipes and ingredients. If you wish to stock the doghouse with new foods and uh, new drinks and foods, I recommend you advertise to witches and collect some nectar. I personally look forward to visiting the doghouse more doghouse more often. I hope we can talk more then. And we get a present of her. Okay, but we've unlocked the resource. Uh, can't do it. I have water. I apologize. I have nothing but water. This is a very sad cat, cat cafe. I serve water to people and they give me... Question mark. At least I can deliver plenty of water though. The sink is infinite. My water bills are terrible. I might want to... Yeah, needs pretzel. I'm going to turn off the... Or... No, no, no. I'm going to keep the witches on. We're just going to have to disappoint them. I think that's the inevitable thing that's going to happen here. Let's see. So I could go to town. I'm so happy the doghouse is opened up once more. Nane would be proud, dear. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna feed these guys with just endless amounts of water. I What do they pay me in again? Pays with fabrics. Purchased chairs and tables. Oh yeah, I do get 25 fabric. On the regular. I don't know if there's much else for me to do at the part at this moment other than wait. Cat. Oh, I can train. Dust sets when you hear a raspy meowing outside. 
When you open the door to see if it's a straight, a dark shape rushes into the doghouse. An ancient black cat sits in your cafe, gazing at you with big yellow eyes. Hello. Hi. Not surprised, little thing. You resemble your grandmother, Nain. I'm surprised to find her cat cafe open for business. Your handiwork, I'm sure. The cats which have chosen to shelter here, their paws are soft, their tummies full, their bristles bristly. This thing pleases me, little thing. I have something to show you. Follow, you, follow if you please. Let's get out of here, floof. Alright, are we going to the shrine? You follow the dark cat into a clearing, hidden deep in the woods. There, you find what looks to be some sort of ancient shrine. Have you noticed, little thing, how you're, you're the doghouse? Your doghouse and its cats have brought delight to the humans of Caterwall. For the sake of this shrine, I ask that you continue to do so. Fill their little hearts with delight and obtain their help in restoring this old shrine to its former glory. Pretty, pretty please. Yes. What is this shrine? <laughs> uh, meow. <laughs> Sorry. I'll tell that tale in due time, inquisitive little thing, but know that it is powerful for canny cat caretakers such as yourself, little thing. As the shrine is restored, I'm sure you will enjoy bountiful benefits of your for your cafe and cats. To start, set a project for yourself. Each project requires goals to be met and a certain amount of delight. Why don't you try starting a project now, little thing? I'll find you after you've managed to make some progress. Oh, so it's a it's an actual like upgrade tree here. I like that. We might want the litter boxes. Cause what else we can do? Chairs, community notice board. Or furniture. So litter boxes, cats, a bunch of different drinks. We could do more cats. More food. Now let's just do more cats for the time being. Okay. Can I go to town? So we can buy furniture, we can go to the market, we can get pet goods. Let's go to the market first. Pretzel recipe. Okay. So we need a coffee machine to make any of these. Oh, I should have checked my recipes real quick. Because we need tea leaves and something else. Let's check furniture, coffee machine. And grab that. What else can we get? Basic chairs, tables, magic chair. Basic chair is more comfortable than the magic chair though, so I'm not really sure the difference. Cash register, some other stuff. Okay, herbal tea requires coffee machine. Figured that much. Pet goods. Learn stray cats with basic canned food. Cat serve two. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. How much do I have? Enough for both. I'm probably just gonna go for the bread, which I'm really hoping... Oh wait, herb, I needed tea leaves. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, let's return to the cafe. Decorate. What do the pretzels need? Uh, can I... Can I check? My recipes. Granny's notebook? Re resources? No. Well, it's gone and I don't know how to get it back. I, You know what? We might as well just di uh, disappoint some witches. Okay, three chair slots left to fill and two cat slots left to fill. Buy lures to top more strays. So her satisfaction is kind of not great. Unsurprisingly, she wants pretzels. But for tomorrow, we will be fine. Okay, so what else can we do? Menu. Oh, here we do. Here we got it. Oh, so I can just make a pretzel at the sink. And there's also this, which required herbs. Okay, so we have enough. Who are you? Hi, uh, hope it's okay to say the work you're doing here is inspiring, honestly. Lots of work ahead, I think. Oh, for sure, but imagining all the ways unfinished work could go is the most fun part, right? I'm Finley. I, uh, make music. Not, f like, for money, unless you count my mom's Patreon sub. 
Bet you didn't think there would be many artists in Caterwall. Lots of creative folk moved here to focus on work. The doghouse is chill. I bet they love it. Us artists can hook you up with jewels. The craftsmen over at Guff, Gruff Decorations charge jewels for most of their furniture. So if you're looking to furnish your cafe, advertise to artists and get yourself some jewels, okay? Do you happen to have any coffee? If not, if not, don't forget to buy the coffee machine at Gruff's after you buy the recipe. I really enjoy working on my stuff here. And I hope I can get to know you a little bit better, too. That's okay with you? Uh, that's cool. Same here. Till next time, then. So we now have... Finley. They like coffee, apparently. Oh, regulars are colorful. Towns, uh, townsfolk who will keep visiting. And we'll actually have, like, friendship bars with them. Neat. And then staff hiring. Oh, but we need the town notice board to even get that. Well... I don't have coffee, but herbal tea will have to do, at least for now. Can I get some can I get some people that are... Well, that looks like a witch, I think. Maybe not. Well, at least I can make this. Interesting. I work part-time at Hawkable, Hawkable Coffee. It's the pits, but I've got to make rent somehow, and as many bland blends as I can drink. Okay, staff is just me. I'm level one. Oh. I guess I can train myself. Uh, let's see. So we can get a skill point into cat care, cooking, service, making small talk with customers, fixing things, cleaning. I'm probably going to do service. She's not very satisfied. She wants more cats. Hello? Well, that's okay. Hello, sir. I'm here to take your water order. I know... Where was it? I think it was the, uh... The Starbucks in my town. I had to specifically, uh ban people from just like coming in and asking for water because so many high schoolers would just come in and ask for water. It was starting to become a problem. I don't know how many coffee shops actually have to deal with that. The idea of, you know, people just kind of freeloading in the coffee shop for long periods of time. It's probably not that bad, but I don't know. Okay, so we definitely should have bought the coffee. Because alas, I have... No coffee. I got tea, but yeah, that doesn't matter that much to them. And we definitely need to pick up some more cats before next time. I probably actually could have bought those cat lures now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, it's okay. It's a charming game. There's not much to it at the moment, but it's kind of like a, a decent little time waster. Uh, with a fair bit of charm, I'm sure you can do a lot more in terms of, like, building your cafe later on. Oh. I have a... I have a second cat bowl. I didn't even realize that out here. Oh, I see. No, that's that secondary cat lure is purely... For cats. Wait. I've already got the coffee machine. Oh, but I don't... I need more... I need more witches. To get the rest. Well... I'm gonna put a lure in so we can get some more cats at the very least. Put another one of those in. Yeah, I didn't even think of the idea that I could potentially... Uh, go to and from. Oh, is that the end of the day? Yes. Is there anything else that I can potentially buy? Mark it. No. So we'll have to disappoint one more witch. And then get some coffee beans. What can we get in the meantime? We already have a coffee machine. And we can get some more chairs. Well, one more chair. Anything else? 
Now we'll just get one more chair for the time being. Return to the cafe. Decorate. Basic chair. There we go. And exit design mode. Skip to morning. So, a lot of kind of half satisfied people, unfortunately. Ooh, D ranking. Shoosh. I'll get better. We need a better we we need a we need a lot of things. Okay. On the plus side, if we can feed this one witch, we can go buy some coffee beans, and that way we won't have to keep our, uh, we won't have, uh, we can just keep an artist waiting, and then, then we don't have to keep disappointing them. What? Get out of here, old man. I don't know how to serve you. What do you even eat? Uh, oh, strays and adoption. So buy a stray lure, place the lure in the food bowl. Pet stray cats to gain trust and adopt. Several strays will show up. You can pet one of them and increase their trust. Keep feeding and petting a stray, and once trust is filled up, you can adopt them. You can hold as many cats in your cafe as you have cat slots. You won't be able to adopt new strays if you're at max. To free up space, you'll have to give your cats a forever home. Interesting. Makes sense, actually. Hello, God of Roboto. I figured I'd come and check in and see how you're doing. How you been, then? It's been a dream to help cats. I can tell. These felines look healthy enough to be running the place themselves. Say, I've been talking to some of some of me fisher folk friends. They say they're keen to visit the doghouse. Fisher folk are like myself. Straightforward folk who sometimes uh, prefer paying in fish. Don't give me that look. It's a town tradition. Thing being, Carla Lala of the Pet Emporium could use all the fish she can get her witchy hands on. Sells her finest cat wares to f uh, for fish alone. So, if you want to treat your cats or buy lures to attract new strays, you might want to advertise to fisher folk and catch yourself some fish. Like they say, teach a man to befriend a fisherman and they'll have fish for a lifetime. Haha! <laughs> I don't know what they eat, though. What do you eat, sir? Oh. No, I have herbal tea as opposed to the... Nah. Well, it's fine. He'll live. Cats. Win trust. I don't know, but this cat speaks to me. I have chosen you. Okay. I think I chose. Oh, perfect. So if I go back over here, we want the black tea recipe, but a little bit late for that. Grab the coffee beans, return to the cafe. There. Well, I've got the recipe at least. I met my husband, Gavin. He's a librarian down in the library. What a concept. Oh, I appreciate that. I don't know, uh, current events kind of aside, current events are a thing to be considered? I don't know. Uh, I know there's been some back and forth recently about like proper representation in games. Games and movies and stuff. And kind of sadly, uh, there, I think the conversation was about movies not being very uh, progressive or being, you know, too quick to hide LGBTQ relationships. I like it when it's just kind of normal. I realize, like, maybe maybe people want, like, more overt representation, but it's kind of nice where it's like, have you met my husband? And it's like, oh, you know, you're a gay man. Cool. And then, I don't know, it's just normal. I think back when I was in high school, whoops. Back when I was in high school, it was still quite stigmatized. I think it still is. I'm sure it is. It's just most of the people I know would, uh, well... Are very accepting comparatively um, but so the idea of there being the stigma has always kind of bothered me and it's always just kind of uh, cozy when I guess a game has a character that is LGBTQ plus stuff look it keeps getting longer it used to be like very short and then we keep getting extra letters and I'm totally fine with it but it's so hard to keep up with I get to old man a little bit here oh some stray cats have come looking for food lovers did it return yes he 
go. Is a vag good at vagabonds adds to entertainment to your cafe. It's a party cat. It looks like a party cat. Oh, I have no lures, but I have fish. Let's see, anything else? Coffee machine, big sink. And magic chair, table, anything else? A lot of these require other resources. Do I want to grab another chair? Or no, I'm going to need another table. Okay, there we go. Exit design mode. Oh, that's got to be freaky. The lady's just leaving and it's just like all of a sudden a, a new table and sink just warp in. Well, people are feeling a little bit better and I get a lot of resources. Still got two chair slots, but not enough chairs to fill. Okay, and I'm going to keep training myself. Frankly, it's kind of tempting to invest hard into cooking for a little while. Uh, especially when we're kind of low on resources. We might also want to just specifically advertise to witches for a while. I don't know. I think I'll just advertise to everybody. Hopefully we get some more cats. Because we need everything. From fish to jewels to everything in between. There we go. And some stray cats have shown up. Party cat. Party cat. Yes. Adopt. You are now named... Ah... Uh, I'm, I really hope that's how you spell Dionysus. Yep. All right. We now have Dionysus, the party cat. It's level one. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I have to level up Dionysus. They're good with punks or vagabonds. I should probably find a cat that's actually good with witches. In retrospect, that's exactly what I should be working on. But it's okay. Hopefully we don't run out of resources here. I don't actually know how much uh, food or water or food supplies I have left. Luckily, vagabonds just require water. I have a lot of that. A decorate. Let's just, um... Take that sink back. We don't need it. There we go. I will just be the friend of vagabonds. I love the idea of potentially kind of doing vagabond stuff for like a little while. You know, just traveling, traveling the world with very little things, you know, probably just laptop, clothes, some other stuff. Hey! And cat slots. Which in retrospect is not actually that good. Take some more hearty lunch. Better cooking is not the worst idea. But no, we're going to go for the hipster furniture. Aww. Cats are adorable. I don't think I will ever own a cat. Who the hell are you? Get out of my store. A mysterious stranger drifts into Catterwall, collecting the town's stray cats under one roof. Driven by what? Witchery? Madness? Business acumen? Driven by my sudden desire to leave this conversation. <laughs> hey, bud, come on now. I promise I'll be less annoying going forward. Siri, update the promise to be less annoying count. Thanks, babe. After you left the city, you thought you'd never see someone talk to your phone assistant again. You figure there's always that one guy. Sorry, that was not actually him. I thought he was just narrating. Name's Mateo, friendo. You m must be a business person. You know, I'm somewhat of a business person myself. Business people are just looking to blow off some steam from their high pressure and very important jobs. Don't mind sp and don't mind spending some valuable gold. Deluxe furniture can only be purchased using gold. Obviously, if you want the good stuff, best advertise to business people. Siri, please add the doghouse to Hey, that's neat list. Oh, also add the doghouse to Hey, cats list. Thanks, sweetheart. 
I'll definitely pop back in here later, friendo. Now, back to the grind with you. Toodles. He wants... Oh, he just wants coffee. That makes my life easy. Okay, and we're definitely getting a lot more hearts here, which is kind of nice. I like this game. It's not very demanding. It honestly feels more like a flash game in certain small cases, but at the same time, there's kind of this like very pleasant feeling of... Ooh, is that a Siamese I see? Oh, you can actually see the traits. Make sure all of your cats get fed. Two food. Good with business people. Tiny, mm, tiny tummy or reduce stress need. They're all good with vagabonds. I kind of want Deborah. Brian's good with witches though. But Sharer is really maybe handy. Yeah. I'm going to select for positive traits. Nope, I don't have any more lures. Excuse me. Oh, and word like flush out. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. I've got 50. Here's the question, though. I'm going to buy the recipe and hope I can get enough resources that we can get more. Luckily, time is paused while I'm in town for some reason. Don't worry about it. We're magic. Clean pee. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, we definitely want to get some litter boxes. Hello, howdy. Top of the morning. I'm focus, I'm focus testing new greetings. I'm very glad I never got into business. I mean, I guess I am in business. I'm in business marketing. I never thought I would be in business marketing, frankly. I took classes on it, but it wasn't really intended. It just kind of happened. Oh, uh, no. Well, here's a question. Do I have enough? No, I don't have any wood. Okay, black tea requires tea leaves, and unfortunately, still don't have much for witch's stuff. Hey, but we are rank B. That's nice. Uh, let's go to the town real quick. Furniture, please tell me you have new chairs. Nope. Well, we'll just buy more. Turn to cafe, decorate, build chairs. Magic chair. At some point, I'd like to be much more consistent. But not at the moment. Is this a business guy? It's a business guy. What I need is witches, though. Like, it might almost just be worth doing a day. Oh, I need two tokens to level up now. Oh, and there's the builder guy. That'll get us the building materials. Oh, okay, oh. hey, new kid. You're doing that thing... Oh, wait. Doing that thing people do to me when they want to chat, or they open their mouth and words tumble out at me. That thing? I'm Arwell. Don't bother introducing yourself, okay? Won't take long before you're out of here anyways. Happy to meet you. God, smiling that much doesn't hurt at all. You wouldn't make much of a punk. That's right, I'm a punk. I know a couple other punks too. We're pretty cool. Me and my punk pals, we're low on cash, but we scrounge up lots of sweet materials. If you want to expand this dump, you're going to need some materials. At least that's what I'd say if I wanted to give you a helpful yet slightly obnoxious advice. You're not the worst. You can tumble words at me later if you like. Please don't ask me for... But yes, I have that recipe. Sweet. That said, I, I'm in desperate need for witches. So maybe we stop advertising. We don't need artists. We kind of need that. We definitely don't need a lot of these things. Now we're just going to advertise to witches. I need witches. Because if we don't, if we don't get witches, we're in trouble. Oh, do I have two? Yes. So here's the thing. Oh, we get a perk. Oh, hipster. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of hipster furniture are present in the cafe. Or magical. Wizard. And I'm just gonna keep investing in into cooking. My thoughts are I like the fact that we get traits every couple of levels. Oh. 
There we go. Oh. This Mateo dude won't leave me alone. How can one human contain that many words? Okay, there we go. Okay, we need ingredients. And we're running out. Those are some sad fisher people. Oh, yeah, they're sad. Well, I'm just going to stock up on cooking related things cuz if we can if we can have all of the recipes, then we won't just be consistently disappointing everyone. Which I think is kind of important. Kind of reminds me of that Baron Breakfast game I was starting to play. It's a lot quicker to get in involved. That one was a little bit more immediately sandboxy with like a more aggressive story. This is definitely more just kind of uh, tycoon, very light tycoon with very light story. Just kind of cute and charming. I'm sure it scales up or, or gets more interesting as you go along. Okay, so Dionysus. Dionysus is good with punks. Good with artists. I'm gonna level up Dionysus though. Plus one to witches, plus one to fishermen, witches. Look, I need the witches to like me so I can make food. I also got to level up my my service skill, apparently. Luckily, my cooking skill is pretty good, but my service needs some work. Well, this whole only let witches in for an afternoon thing actually has worked out incredibly well for me. Okay, and we now have hipster furniture. Select a new project. Uh, let's see, pub, tea room. I probably should have gone for the hipster one, but alas, I was thinking of other stuff. Uh, let's see, do we want litter boxes or do we want some food? I don't really feel like hiring any staff at the moment. So let's do advanced brews for the time being. There we go. Black tea requires tea leaves. Well. I'm gonna grab that. Do I have enough for the Italian espresso? I do. But I need to have a higher cooking skill. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, let's grab another canned lure. And return to the cafe. Okay. At this point, I think we can turn everybody else on. I was waiting for a little bit. I just wanted to have that last thing so I wouldn't fully dis disappoint them. Also, they're different levels. Interesting. So I figure by just... Oh, wind trust. I didn't realize that we have cats. I don't like the fact that the hand shows up on the wrong cat. But it's fine. Alright, we're good. Uh, let's see, to town, and I can buy some more ingredients freely. Okay, do we do one more day? I don't know. Oh, I can call a regular. What? What? How? Oh, here. Ring a regular. Call Finley Carla. Hi. Good day. Oh, I'd love to visit. I'll head out now. That's kind of nice. I do, wow, no, my, my serving skill, uh, I actually do need to serve more. Oh, this is a lady punk. It is a lady punk. Nice. And we also have our next cat. Win trust. There we go. Do I get third cat? Adopt. You are now going to be munch. We now have Munch, who feeds other cats. And I have another lure. Good for me. There we go. And yeah, I've got everything that I need. There we go. I don't know how long they, uh, they'll stick around before they get disappointed by me. We're definitely going to want some litter boxes at some point, too. But this is fine for now, at least for the moment. Okay, anyway, so Cat Cafe Manager is adorable. 
it's not a very demanding game. It's very much just kind of a, a chill and play for a while kind of thing. And so if you're looking for something kind of extremely undemanding, this would be it. And I'd rather appreciate it. I'm going to move this over so it's a little bit more centrally located. Perfect. No sense in me going all the way around. Oh, hey. A beautiful day to you, Gato Roboto. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? No sense in walking around the cat food bowls just to get it my... Uh, to get it my coffee maker. Ish. I don't know. All right. We've got stuff for days. Train. I'm going to keep leveling up my cooking. Because unlocking new recipes seems like a good idea. Can I take both of their orders? Yes. Okay, I did, I did in fact serve them. Rad. We should be able to get our, our next projects done more or less as soon as any one of these people leave. There it is. Alright, start new, start new projects. What do we grab? I think most of these might be too expensive and I can't even start them yet. I'm just going to keep grabbing the food. Upping my selection seems like it might help. Might be worth more too. Ooh, those skill requirements are rough though. We might actually want to head for that board. Get a turbo janitor. Anything to do with the cats? No. Okay, first I'm going to win trust. Oh, for a second I thought our character was getting like really tired. Okay, so we've got two cats here. We have reduced stress need. Good with fishermen. Yeah, but this one has cuter eyes. And as my cats level up, it doesn't really matter. All right, anyway, so Cat Cafe Manager is available on Steam now. Uh, I haven't actually checked the price. I should probably look that up real quick. This is one of those that ended up in my inbox, and I was like, oh, this looks cute. I should give it a shot. Uh, plus, one of my patrons, No Name Gamer, was like, hey, you should play this. And I was like, yeah, I should. So it's $20 down to 16 at launch, which I think is fair. Kind of depends what you're looking for. I don't know how deep it gets or how long it goes, but at the same time, there's a very real charm to this. Uh, let's see, who do we want to level up? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Dynasis will also gain a skill point. Oh, I see. I'm just going to make Dionysus our, our super witch cat. Probably should have picked a different one, but still. But I think it I think it's cute. I think if if yeah. If you want a game that is just kind of very low stress and very peaceful, I love the music, I love the visuals, and yeah, I love the fact that it is not demanding. I don't think there's a failure state, it's just a matter of like how efficient and effective you are. And who knows, maybe there's whole layers to this game that I haven't even seen yet that I don't even know about. I know there's like a bunch of stuff eh, kind of with cat skills, but not really. I know you can level up the different factions. Factions, uh, types of people. I know you can get extra staff, but I'm stuck with one for the time being. Uh, let's see, if I go back out to town. Because shrine-wise, there's not too much. There's toilet tech, which is interesting. But yeah, we've got to get more seats and staff hiring. Which is something I will probably work on. It doesn't seem like there's too much here. Oh, stray lures. I thought this was a fart cloud coming out of the cat. I'm like, well, I mean, cats probably fart. I mostly think of dogs being gassy, less cats. No, no. Oh, right. I can actually buy some stuff now. Rad. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I can't buy much. We can get a crappy toilet. Yeah, we can get a lot of things. There's also plants sold out of art. I, I don't know. I don't know what my goal would be here. And the hipster stuff is pricey. I'm sure we scale up as we get better recipes and just get further into the game. But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, and sometimes not indie games, but mostly indie games, hit subscribe because I got tons of them to check out. It's an endless deluge, and I love seeing what the industry provides. There's a lot, too. But with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.